Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Hannah and I thought we would kind of go through my old summer photos and I would share how I personally hope to transform those looks into this summer season, how I'm gonna change them. Kind of going off of the video I just posted a video or two ago, planning my summer wardrobe and my style so I thought I would go back into my old photos back into my clothing that I usually wear every single summer and share how I am going to kind of tweak it or hope to tweak it this summer to fit what I want to wear for this summer season instead of like my past summer seasons and how I wore it then I thought this would be fun and interesting so I hope you guys enjoy it so let's just get right into it the first outfit that I am going to share is this one and I love this dough and dress. I got this dough and dress I think last summer and it is just so beautiful. It's like this dough and nightgown. I usually wear it as a cover up or if I have like a slip underneath of it. I think it would be beautiful for just like lunch or just a summer dress in general. And the way that I hope to wear this is kind of like that style or the outfit inspo that I shared in my last, in my planning, my summer style video of Josephine and how she had the ballet flats with the hat. <coughs> Sorry. The ballet flats with the hat. That's kind of my goal for this look. I need to get some water. Hold on one second. I have like something stuck in my throat. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just had the weirdest feeling in my throat and it wasn't going to go away until I drank some water. But yeah, I think this is just the perfect dress to do that with. Wearing the hat, the ballet flats, even just this dress with the sandals like I was talking about. I want to move more into wearing sandals instead of just your classic flip-flops like my Havana flip-flops. But I think I can really play along with the hat with this dress and maybe ballet flats, maybe cream shoes. I don't know. If I have cream sandals, I think that would be really pretty. So that's kind of what I have in mind for this dress for the summertime is kind of taking those elements that I hope to be wearing this summer season and bringing into this outfit. This next photo, this outfit I wore in Europe and I absolutely love this dress. This dress I got at a vintage I think I had a, maybe I thrifted this dress. I might have thrifted this dress either at an estate sale or I want to say this an estate sale. I got this dress and I tailored it to fit me because it was a little bit big. And I just have it on here with some flip flops and a black bag. And here I would love to change the flip flops for my ballet flats. Most likely these ballet flats. I probably will pair these with that dress. And I just think that would be so chic for the summertime. Also, kind of change the bag up a little bit. Maybe like a summer straw bag, like a ra raffia bag. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm envisioning for this look. Changing up with some ballet flats or just sandals, like I said, in general. I also think I could tie in a bit of red in this outfit since it's such a neutral color, like this kind of natural color in this fabric. I could play if I had like some red sandals. I think that would could look really cute with this look. So I have a bunch of different ways that I want to style this outfit more so with how I'm feeling for this summer than I was when I went to Europe two summers ago, I think, or yeah, two summers ago. So that's what I'm thinking for this one. Change it up with the bag, kind of change it up with the shoes make it a little bit more elevated with like ballet flats and things like that. Okay, this look I wore like maybe three summers ago, I wanna say. I was working at Free People at the time and I love this. I've been saying and that I wanna wear more skirts. I mentioned that and I love the skirt with the oversized button down. I think that's so cute. But this is an outfit that I wish I had and I hope to have it for this summer to re 
kind of rewear this outfit but just spruce it up a little bit is those structured necklaces and bangles that kind of idea because I'm just wearing a simple necklace but I think a really cool structured necklace like in a gold medal would look so cool with this with the matching bangle like the Lee Studios matching set would really elevate this outfit and bring it to life a little bit more and then to wear it with either some cream shoes like I could totally see myself wearing it with maybe these or some ballet flats or some sandals just to I don't know I'm probably just wearing regular flip-flops knowing me that's definitely what I was wearing you can't see the shoes but I'm just thinking that's what I was wearing so I think having the bangle and the necklace and you know ballet flats would just definitely just bring this outfit to the next level and just elevate it a little bit more but still keeping it very classic very minimal very simple so that's why I like those categories or things that I listed in my planning my summer style video because I feel like it just helps elevate my minimal style but still staying true to who I am this outfit I wore in Florida when I went for my sister's graduation last summer or this past summer and I love this dough in dress I think it's stunning it's such an easy throw on dress I wore it recently when I went to Florida and honestly I didn't get a photo of the full outfit that I was wearing but how I wore it in Florida is definitely how I want to continue to wear it or one of the ways I want to continue to wear it this summer. I wore it with my A. Emery sandals, which are right here, that I just absolutely love. Just elevated it a little bit more than just my simple Havana flip-flops that I used to, that I, not used to, I, I will still wear those this summer, but I lived in them last summer because I didn't have a nice sandal for my outfits. But I wore it with these and then I wore my red cardigan over top just to give a pop of red because it was still a little bit chilly at night and I just loved it. I feel like it was instantly like an elevate, uh, elevated outfit or just felt more, I don't know, I liked it a lot and <laughs> this, I definitely love this the way I styled it here but I just feel like having those different touches helped a lot with my outfit. Now, this dress I got off the Real Real and I love this dress so much. I wore it when I was in Florida last summer and this is another outfit that I hope to bring in the hat, the straw hat. I will put pictures of the straw hat that I soon hopefully will be getting from Madewell. I ordered it, it's supposed to be arriving. I don't know when, but I recently got an email saying I think it was shipped in an, on its way so I'm very excited but I think this is an outfit that I can definitely bring in the hat to like go to luncheon or just go on the weekend like a summer weekend uh, being outside or something like that so I'm really excited about that obviously the sandal basic things like that but this is definitely an outfit where I think the hat would really look good with this and then I also love in the summertime to wear you know, your cute lounge sets like this pointel. The top isn't pointel, but the, are the bottoms? Yeah, I think so. The bottoms are from Lisette and the top I think is old from Mango. And I just love wearing like cute lounge sets like this in the summertime. I definitely know I'm gonna bring that back in for this summer as well. I'll wear a lot of different, you know, the white, you know, your lounge wear that's in that pointel material or not material, it's a pattern. Um, in that pattern, I love that for this summer. And I think I can play along with wearing like the hat again with this outfit. I just think it would look really cute and I would really love it and then with a nice sandal to elevate it a little bit more and kind of dress up a loungewear look to be a bit more elevated. I mean, I keep using that word, but honestly all these things that I'm saying I feel like just help elevate all my different outfits. So this next look I actually wore at the end of August going into, or the end of summer going into fall. And I wore this for a Majuri campaign that I was working on. And I 
would change this two different ways for this summer. The first way I would change it is I would ditch the jeans and do those cargo pants that I'm loving, the lighter cargo pants. I don't know what the real name for them are, but I'll put a picture of what I'm talking about here and probably ditch the blazer. And instead of the pearl necklace, wear like more of a structured, like silver bangle style necklace. You know what I'm talking about? That's kind of one way I would wear this, or I would just change the darker denim for lighter denim to feel more summery. And instead of the button down, I would wear like the tank tops that I really want to start wearing into summer more, just wearing them with outfits and having more of a relaxed look. And I also think I would like that a little bit better in this because I kind of don't like how the white button down sleeves go past the blazer. It just really bugs me now that I look at this photo. I don't really love that. So that is definitely something that I would personally change in this look. I would switch the denim for a lighter denim and maybe pair the tank, but still keeping the like structured necklace that I'm talking about. I think that would look really cute with like a matching bangle bracelet. Okay, this look, again, I like the darker denim because I like the blue on blue here, but I could change the pants to those white cargo pants that I want to. I feel like I would be more inclined this summer to pair this blue button down with those pants when I hopefully get them in. And then instead of boots, I would wear ballet flats. I think this is beginning of fall because I can see the leaves starting to fall off and change on the ground. So this is probably going into fall. But to make this more summery and wear this all summer long, and even into fall, I would change the jeans to those white pants and wear either like black ballet flats or even my black sandals. I probably would more opt for my black ballet flats. And then also those necklaces would look really good here as well. Okay, this look I love so much. And I probably wouldn't change much. I would probably just change the shoes. Even I could probably, I would probably either do the sandal. I'm, I think I would do the sandal. I think this is what I would probably pair with this instead of the ballet flats. I think the ballet flats would also look really cute. But I think knowing me and no, being in Florida and stuff like that and being around the beach, I would probably go for the sandal. Okay, this look, I loved when I tried it on and things like that but these pants these jeans i got them from silver lake on sale and every time i wear them i just feel like they fit me weird so i i just wouldn't wear these jeans at all i don't think i'll even like i probably should sell them because every time i wear them i don't really like them on me and i don't really like any of the photos because i just feel like the jeans look really bad on me but I really want to wear this top with capri pants, either capri leggings, capri trousers with ballet flats or sandals. I think that would look so good, like so good. I love the neckline of this top. This is a top that I got off the Real Real, and it has been a favorite of mine so much. I actually have to bring it to the dry cleaners because it has like makeup around the collar, but yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite finds on the Real Real, and I think this would look so, so good with a pair of capri pants or like capri leggings with ballet flats. I think that would look so chic. So that is definitely how I would love to style them this summer, and hopefully you will see a photo of me in that outfit this summer. And then in the summertime, I love wearing my little slip dresses. Uh, this is one that I got at a vintage store. I think this is another estate sale find, and I think I hemmed it. I'm pretty sure I hemmed it because it was very, very long um, or like an awkward length. So I think I hemmed it, and this is another thing. I would love to wear these types of dresses with ballet flats. Like I think that would look so cute or even cuter cream ballet flats. I have on my white flip-flops, Havana flip-flops on, and I just lived in either the black or the white Havana flip-flops last summer, 
and I really want to start wearing more ballet flats or sandals or just a more elevated shoe for the summertime. I mean, I'm again still gonna wear my Havana flip flops, but I just, when it comes to an outfit and like going, cause this, I think I was going, I know, I don't think, I know I was going to a wine bar with my boyfriend and one of his friends and I just wish I had like a cuter shoe on. And I think a ballet flat would look so cute with this and would go really well. And also I think one of those hats, like straw hats could also be really cute with this outfit as well. And that is the last outfit that I found in my camera roll to kind of share how I am hoping to transform it a little bit for this summer season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can definitely do more of them. I'm sure there's more photos on my camera roll of outfits that I wore a few summers ago or last summer that I forgot to put in this video, but just let me know if you like these types of videos. I think it's fun seeing how your style changes, but you still keep the same pieces. You just do it differently in your outfits. And I thought it would be fun to share. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys, love you.